podcast with T-Dog here. Yes, yeah, she's showing face today. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With that being said, we're going to get started with our topic of why is it important to heal from a situation? Now, of course, I have two subject lines after that. Um, with that being said, why is it important to heal from a situation before moving to a new relationship? And why is it important to heal from a situation for yourself? Now, because we have a guest, um, we're gonna let them, we're gonna let her speak first because she's gonna speak her speech, she's gonna talk her shit, she's gonna talk her shit. But with that being said, so why do you feel it's important to hear from a previous situation before moving on to a new relationship? Well, for one thing, I feel like if you haven't moved on, then you're not given the new relationship, situation, situation, whatever. It's full. It's, it's it's full chance. It's full ability to either grow. It's full ability to show you exactly what you came out of that it's not gonna grow, and you're just not giving it its full potential. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, with that being said, a lot of people go around saying, "Oh, don't let your past relationship, don't let your past relationship affect this relationship." Now, granted, I'm gonna be honest. Some of y'all motherfuckers be full of shit when y'all say that. But either way, with that being said, that's a very true statement. You don't want your past relationship to affect your new relationship. And at the end of the day, I think that's a trigger for some people because at the end of the day, it will trigger them to go on back into their old ways when they really felt like they wanted to change for you because, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she do this, she do that. But then you letting somebody's old past, like, well, I don't trust you. You got to show me. You got to prove to me. So then they like, oh, bitch, I don't want to prove. And, and, it, and it gets to that. But... With that being said, I totally agree. When you go into a new relationship, whether it be an intimate relationship or a friendship, you can't let those things dwindle into your new situation. Um, my opinion on that, you absolutely need to hear. And if anybody say different, like I said, my opinion be my opinion. But with this topic, I think absolutely you definitely need to heal because who doesn't think you should heal from a situation a previous situation like who, who would think that you don't need to hear from like oh we can heal we, that heal and we grow together bullshit that's exactly what i said that's bullshit bullshit mm-hmm. bullshit bullshit mm-hmm. what do you say i call bullshit that's her word that's her word bullshit. i call bullshit because and the reason why i say i would call bullshit on it because at the end of the day oh we can grow together we can do together like granted some people mentally they they need someone to do things i'm the type of person Maybe it's just easy, but I do isolate. I, I like to isolate. Sometimes I hit this chick. This chick will hit me up. Girl, you good? Girl, you like, yeah, I just need to see myself. Girl, and she don't know I'm stressed. No, I'm stressed out. <laughs> no, I got a lot going on because it recently just happened. Do you want to talk about it? Hell no. I'm a, I, mm-hmm. I mean, but but seriously, all jokes aside, I'm like, no, ma'am, not, not right now because they, they, I'm a true believer in karma, and I don't want to project something into the universe, and I don't want to say anything that cause some bad to come on me. And then, That's with that being it. said, we don't gossip. We vent. So, um, <laughs> but with that being said, yeah, we, we, we vent. And when I vent, I don't want to vent and, like I said, put the wrong energy or something bad out there to the point where... I'm getting bad karma because I feel like I'm too high on the pedestal because I didn't help somebody else. No, that's not me. That's never me. I don't want to... I don't want to be. I don't want to be that that we we head that does that. I try to keep this PG because you know some some teens you know might watch this. So let's be mindful of that you know. And that's like I said, everybody knows my goal of this. You got some people like myself grew up with no guidance, and like I like Young Dolph said, he said eighties babies and all that. But I ain't no eighties baby. I born that one. But uh. I'm an ace, baby. At the end of the day, the streets raise me. And if the streets are raising you, you know, sometimes you need to outsource. And granted, that goes into our next topic that me and Queen T Dog here are going to go hit is the teens now they have so many outlets and so many resources. So make sure y'all watch it because I'm telling y'all what's going to be the T for the next jump. So, you know, tap in. But the teens nowadays, they have all these resources like YouTube. They have actual human being interaction to. A system in this right here, this platform can be the, a platform and a system. However, there's so much negativity in the world, so why not scroll through Lalicia's podcast and be like, What's she talking about today? What she got going on today? Why not? Why not? But, um, would you like to elaborate more on why it's good to heal for yourself? Well, like we said, 
Yeah, like we said, uh, no, you don't have to because I see this thing on me. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, you know, we say we say that healing have to heal. Sometimes you can't heal with the next person because that the next person, the next situation, the next relationship, whatever, mm -hmm. wasn't the same as what you came out of. Mm -hmm. So if you're sitting there, you know, you were in an abusive relationship, well, your new partner may not know how to really talk about that because or help you with that because they weren't in that. All they know how to do is, oh, nurture you, love you, oh, da -da. no, I'm not going to hit you, I'm just going to hold you. And, you, you, you know, you're kind of drawing back from that, but... Because you think that, you're ready to get started. Right, but, uh, <laughs> you know, you, know, you, you mad, I'm just stressed out, they just want to grab you and hold you, but you don't understand that because right. you haven't healed. You're right. You you're haven't healed for right. so okay. everything is on a... Everything is on a, uh, a jittery side when all they want to do is sometimes you just need that one person to be like, look, it might just be a friend. I'm not, a t I am a touchy feely person, but that's my person, right, you know. Right, but I mean, right. sometimes you just need the person to hold you and just hold you and just say, let it out, cry, which people aren't ready for that because they're just when they hold me, it's because I'm fighting and trying to get away from. Them. So you haven't healed fully because you're not allowing this person to love you. And, and that's that's one way, way you can use that word, love you. Love that's not lusting for you. Lusting for you is as they hold you and will touch your feel. No, this person's just holding you by around your neck. You know, just yeah. holding you, just saying, calm down, release it out. So if you haven't healed, you, you won't know how to take that, perceive that, and embrace that. That's one situation. Another situation, being a friend. When I call you, be like, vent about it, talk about it. That's you like, nah, don't worry about it. Do I stop? Uh, no. No. <laughs> do, do, do I stop? No. Nope. Yeah, give me a couple of hours right, and hit you, you right. again. Talk about it yet? Nah. All right. LOL. And when you come and you say you busy, nah. Can you talk? Absolutely. Ready. What I would say, ready. Right. And that means I'm ready to listen. Right. But, you know, that, that's your healing point. That's your, you, you taking it all in. You figuring out how you want to talk about it. Because, again, words are powerful. So if you're already mad and then your feelings, what's going to come out, I'm still going to take it in because I'm your friend. Absolutely. But you don't want to throw out how you're feeling because <laughs> words are powerful. What you say may not be really how you're feeling or how you're feeling at that point. But that them words could make a whole different outcome. And it could be an unnecessary outcome. It could be a blown up outcome. It just could be an all bad outcome versus you stepping back, thinking about it, venting about it in your own head, and then saying, all right, yep, you know, I'm ready to talk about it. That was your healing right there. And you did it yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, you, you're absolutely right. And I mean, see, that's why I love our conversations, even if it ain't for the video purpose or whatnot. That's why I bring her on to it because it's the genuineness that you get from a certain person. That you want to, those are blue headphones. I was looking for a couple things. Anyway, that's irrelevant. But uh, with that being said, um, I just said to myself, I just proved the whole point. Like I do have a whole lot of healing to do. Um, this past situation where, don't make me cry. I had a few children over here because I was molested as a child with my past videos that y'all probably did not watch. I go watch them more. The stuff I went through, I was so paranoid, like. Let me keep these children separated. I don't want nobody to touch nobody. When, bro, all they did was like be kids. Yeah, and it, and it hurts my heart because it's like <gasps> I'm the one that's like don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. And soon as and we as adults, we have to realize these children don't know nothing unless we teach them. They don't know right. anything unless they see it. Learn behavior. It, it everything is learned because you got to think about it. it's a newborn baby. You, they don't know how to eat until you feed them. Oh yeah, this is how you hold a spoon and do da 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 da. They don't know how to say fuck bitch, kiss my. They don't know how to say any of those PG. words. Exact PG PG. They don't know how to say anything of that. But right, right. Oh, we, oh, we gonna be the hot. Love you, dog. Love you, dog. What? Thirteen. Oh, they don't know how to do anything until we teach it to them. So it's like one of them was very autistic, and you know they they know it's, everyone knows at now they got this whole diagnosis, well, uh, whatever. But. There's this whole spectrum. This child was on the higher end of the spectrum. And him and my six, he's 11. My, my daughter is six. They got along so great. They party. They, and I was just so, but he's like, that's that's the first thing on his mind. If anything, my child would have been the one to do some off the call stuff. But uh, I'm being straightforward. 
But with that point being said, that was a situation where it ain't even an intimate situation. I have to heal from what happened to me in order for my babies to, or my surrounds to be successful. Because those, I ain't gonna lie, they, they not even my brother and sister for real by blood. But those are my babies. They, and that's what I said. Those are my babies. At that moment, that time I had them, I was projecting my insecurities and my trauma on them. And I, I regret that. I really do. Now, it, it makes me freaking sad. And I'm not gonna get emotional, but... <laughs> It makes me sad, but that goes back to what you were saying, like, you a good friend because you're like, hey, do you want to talk about it? I'm just like, no, because I'm used to isolating. I'm used to, I can't talk to anybody. I don't have anybody to sit there and listen to me, so I do shut you out, and I do, and it's, it's not it's not good, it's not right, because it's, it's not healthy, but in the day, I will not say isolation is not always bad, and I always say that because sometimes people do need to isolate Get they level-minded. Mm -hmm. I'm still feeling emotional because of what I just said. So I'm trying to get my thoughts right. right. But, oh. I'm gonna help you out there. I'm gonna help. But that was your healing. That was your healing because yeah. you were very protective, as you should be. Yeah. Because again, you're it's still a mother. Slow. That was a mixed crowd. That was that was a Brady Bunch type crowd. I mean, you had boys and girls. Yeah. So you you didn't let you didn't let your past go. You didn't throw your past out there so they knew exactly why you were being protective. Yeah. But. You still kept your guard up as you should, as any mother would, as any father would, as anyone. Me gonna say, I, I'm, I'm beyond. I ain't gonna do that. I already say any father. Well, I'm I'm just, just, I, I, no, I, we're not I, doing it on right, this show. Not we're this, not, not this, not this. We're not gonna do that on this show. Right then, right Men and, and women. Take note. Take note. Next show, like she said, because she knows. But you know, my co-hosts right here. Go ahead, big dog. But you know, you know, you know. But that's the thing. You didn't let them know what was going up. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because you, in your own mind, you kept that. Where it was, but you never said, Don't touch my daughter, don't touch my yeah, because that went yeah. for them, and you let them do exactly what they need to do and be what they were. It's key, yeah. So that was your own, that was your own little healing. You made it through, friend. You it, made it through. It hurt my feelings though, because like they didn't, nobody did anything. If anything, my I told you, my children were the ones that was on some ratchet mess, like what the hell not ratchet, you? like not ratchet, like inappropriate ratchet, just a little more. Oh, forward. we can just throw this shit around, right. and then Liv probably right. be like. Man, fuck this shit. I'm just joking. My daughter probably didn't say that. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They hear me. But, like, we do this shit. You know, she probably didn't say right. that. But then they, these right. children that came into my environment, like, even if they do act a certain way outside of, them, outside of my environment, they came to my house. I'm going to be honest. This first day, I was like, I'm going to fuck all y'all up. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to fuck all y'all up. But after that, it was like smooth sailing. And I mean... This is the thing I want to say too. The main people that be hollering, I don't like kids. I don't like kids. I don't like kids. Oh, the first we one to take them in. Be the main. No, forget the first one to take them in. We the first ones. Oh, kids like, oh, I like her. I like her. I like him. I like her. Cause they just they didn't even want to. They, they just like we 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 had a bond. We had a bond because <sighs> it was an unforced bond. It wasn't a press bond. It just happens. You didn't expect the bond. Yeah, because I, I ain't gonna say I was mean to them, but yeah. I was on, I was still on some, you need to say yes ma'am because that's not what we do. I didn't cuss them out, but I said, I'm not gonna take your crap. It was a structured bond. And it makes me want to cry because it's like, how is everybody else saying you're this bad of a person? Like, you can't be that bad of a child if me that don't even like children can sit up there and deal with you and... We're not gonna say we're not gonna say don't like children. We're gonna say just don't deal with children that aren't right. own. And sometimes we just want to put them to the side too, just because we're frustrated. Right. So we can't really say don't like kids because we got kids. But it's because you have a structured, unplanned, welcoming. I don't be liking them. But the people right. say, oh, I love children. Bring them on. They're the ones that get stressed out as soon as a child moves a cup, moves a plate. Oh, you know, just knock something over. They, <gasps> which we might get mad, but it's like, it's expected. Yeah, it's we're expected. better at talking to them and whatnot. I get or what no, just saying. dealing with every situation that comes our way like that. You're right. Every ball is thrown at us when it comes at us. like, we know how to deal with oh, it. I'm clean this up again. Knew it was going to happen. Just didn't know when. They can't, you know, the ones that always say, come on, you. come on, kids, come on. As soon as you scuff the floor, they's on their hands and knees, like, <laughs> Cinderella. Where is it happening? Like, yeah, yeah. Everybody outside, we're like, 
It's all yeah. good. She did that yesterday. Come on, y'all. Come yeah. on, clean up. Go, just going around. It's different. Yeah. It's different. It's You're different. You're absolutely right. It's, it's different. different. That's how I love because we ain't even on topic no more, but we didn't got to the topic. We are, though. We are, though. But that goes yeah. to healing. That goes to healing. Because if you bring but, somebody into a situation like that, and they're like, how are you handling this like that? It's like, you know, you, you ain't never been around kids? No, not really. Oh. Well, and they think there's a pretty picture. Yeah. It's not, it's not it's pretty. Not, it's not pretty. It's, it's not life. pretty. Nothing it's life. is perfect. It's life. It's life. It's not perfect at all. And I mean. It's my life for the moment or whatever. I would like to say that when I lived with my grandparents, they mm. wanted to be. Mm-hmm. And was. And I'm trying to change it. I mean, don't do that. Don't do that because that move, they, 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 they you, whoever's reading body language, what did y'all read? Put that in the comments. What did y'all read just now when she did that? Hmm. It was. Because cause we know how grandparents are. And to be honest with you, my situation was way different because my granddad was so freaking lovable. He was so, oh, he's my baby. He's my baby. But he'll get on your way. But at the same time, my grandmother, she was. She was all right. She was awesome. When I speak of my grandmother, I always talk about my dad's mother because my mom's mother. That's in another video. Go look at the other video. But uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, I always talk about my grandmother on my dad's side because that's the only relationship I had with a grandmother for real, like a real genuine relationship. How about you? Did you have a relationship with both mom and dad? That's another topic. Okay. Say no, 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 no. I had my mom, my mom and her whole side of the family. I had my grandma on my dad's side, and then um, when I turned sixteen, getting ready to be seventeen, I had my son. That's when I met my sister. So I'm the oldest of five on that side. Okay. So I met my sister. She was eleven. She was eleven. So I didn't even know I had a sister. And then I didn't know that I had it's another brother. With my little brother. So take right. one if you watching this. Oh. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Who are you but I be, I be Who telling are you? him. I be like, bro. Why don't you reach out? Sometimes he's better off without the situation. Now that's another topic in the stuff. And I like that. We boiling down to our last few minutes of this. So, you know, like I said, Queen T-Dog here. She didn't pour her little sprinkle juice on here. So, of course, we, you know, we ramble on. We go on. So, if you say, like, hey, I want to hear it. I want to tap into that one. Tag me in that video when y'all make it. Let us know. Always drop your social media at the bottom if you want to be tagged in it. But anyway, with that being said, I feel, I feel that. I really do feel that. Um, mm-hmm. And then they, like I said, wrapping this up. The importance of healing prior to one another situation because you have people like her trying to tap in and be like, hey, Lisa, what's going on? What, why you ain't venting? It's because I can't be, you know, I'm so used to keeping it to myself. I'm a middle child. I got that middle child syndrome, whatever y'all want to call it. I do have that. <laughs> I cannot hold it in. I cannot hold it in. I cannot hold it in. But look, but only child syndrome, middle child syndrome, this is, this is good as it get right here. This is good as you got the middle child, the only child, the only child. How do you feel as the only child? Like, okay. I love it. But. Really? But that goes to healing from a different situation, too, because it was hard when you get other little cousins coming in that were raised like your brothers and sisters. It's hard trying to heal, trying to get used to them and, and, and all that. But that's another topic. But, yeah, that's, that's why healing. I say it. I'm sorry. Right I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's pretty her just all on these. Because we're going we to do all this. We, we got something for everything. Yeah. But um, in the day, if you're that child that's going through that situation where you're the middle child, you don't know how to outreach. Reach out to me. If you're the only child you don't have nobody to talk to, I might not understand because I was a, the child of three growing up and all of a sudden I turned 23, 20, well, I didn't say 25. I was in my 30s, definitely in my 30s, and then I popped up with other siblings. So, with that being said, I always been the middle child, but even though I'm not the only child, I might have an answer, but if you feel more comfortable, talk to someone. Reach out to see dog. So, with that being said, I will put her social media in the links below. So that won't discuss the head of time, but uh, I have to, I have to, because that's the point of this. Like the, the adults know, the adults know what the move is, the vibes are. So with that being said, we have to. And I mean, to be honest with the, uh, with this, again, if you don't have nobody, you don't have nobody. You put me out there because you know I can do it, and they need somebody. So yeah, but we okay. got we got we got a call coming in. We got like maybe ten minutes in, so I think we can go like five minutes over. We can we can. Five minutes over. We can go like five minutes over. I had to correct that speech. 
to take a call and um get somebody else's opinion because this uh this is Captain Cannabis actually that's hitting my phone right now. And I'd like to know his opinion on why is it important to heal from a situation going into a new relationship, whether it be intimate, friendship, whatever case it be. And why is it important to heal for yourself? Because those were the two subjects of my topic. So, with that being said, I'm going to cut this short before we take this call. This is Galicia. Say my name. Bitch. Okay, so what we say and play, and no matter your position in life, Baby, we all gonna elevate. I shake it.